bears this out. Tesla yeah. is miles ahead. Everyone I speak to that, that interacts with the Tesla, they think the vehicle's incredible, but it's the network. It's the network, the fact that you've got the supercharger network established and everyone always just says, it works. It just works. Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and you're watching The Electric Singularity. Fantastic to have you here. Well, I've just seen some insane news. The new Tesla Model S Plaid Plus has been timed at an event doing the quarter mile in 9.23 seconds, making it the fastest production car ever made. Now guys, if you're not sure what the term production car means, you might want to Google that because it doesn't include cars that are built under a certain number. So it excludes special one-off cars or cars that they might have built five or 10 of or something like that. It has to be a mass production car that you can purchase not a theoretical car that might have gone on sale for a week or something like that. So what was previously the fastest car to the quarter mile? That was the Bugatti Chiron, which did it in 9.4 seconds. Well, so quite a bit slower than the Tesla Model S Plaid. And the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus will be out not long after the Plaid is revealed, probably in around about, I believe, six to seven months from now, at least in the United States. You know, the crazy thing about this is, right, that Tesla make the fastest production car in the world, and it is a family car. I mean, literally, it's a family car. They're quite big. Look at the, they're not just a sedan. If you actually look at them, they have an enormous boot that you can fit even maybe a, sur a surfboard in them. They're insanely big inside. They're a really big car. If you look at, say, a, a performance car, say a Lamborghini, a Porsche, they're actually always much smaller than you think. So if you lined up the Tesla Model, if you lined up the Tesla Model S next to a super exotic supercar, you'd find that the Tesla looks almost twice the size. And in fact, the interior is more than twice the size of the Bugatti Chiron, way more than twice the size. That's what makes this, this, this feat so damn incredible. The other insane thing is that the Tesla Model S Plaid Plus, the world's fastest production car, quarter mile, costs 120,000 US dollars. 120,000, the world's fastest car. The Bugatti Chiron, 3.6 million US dollars. So how many Tesla Model S Plaids could you buy? You could literally buy 30 Tesla Model S Plaid Plus cars for the same price as a single Bugatti Chiron, which is slower and has far less range than the Model S. Far less range and it's slower and two seats. Wow. So the official record time was set on May the 11th, 2021 at the Auto Club Famoso Raceway in Bakersfield, four hours south of Tesla's Fremont factory. The article noted that an attendee at the event told them that the Midnight Silver Model S Plaid set an official time of 9.23 seconds with a trap speed of 152 miles an hour. This beat the previous record of 9.4 seconds that was held by the Bugatti Chiron Sport, which at a base price of 3.26 million, costs a lot more than a Tesla. Like I said, you could buy 30 Teslas for that price and still have change left over. The time set by the Model S Plaid was half a second quicker than the second fastest car, the Porsche 918 Spyder. So what are the four fastest cars to the quarter mile, production cars, as we can find on Wikipedia? Well guys, the 2021 Model S Plaid does it in 9.23 and obviously the Plaid Plus is gonna be even faster again, crazy. The Bugatti Chiron Sport does it in 9.4 seconds. The Porsche 918 Spyder does it in 9.7 seconds. 
and the McLaren P1 does it in 9.8 seconds. You'll find though that often it is repeatably possible to get those kind of times out of your electric car, as in just some Joe Blow like me, who is not the best driver, could probably come close to achieving that time from an electric car. There's heaps of videos on YouTube of people driving Tesla Model 3s and getting around about 3.1 seconds. Heaps. But just try getting a 9.8 second time in a McLaren P1 if you're not the world's best driver. It's virtually impossible. Seriously. So, how much power does it have? Well, the Model S Plaid has 1,020 horsepower and because of that, it'll do 0 to 60 miles an hour or 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 1.99 seconds. But we haven't seen that in real life yet. We don't know exactly what the time's going to be. We'll find out soon enough. However, I think it's very likely that Tesla has done this time and this time will be repeatable. Previously, the 2020 Model S performance with ludicrous mode was 19th on the list. Tesla's newest refresh, the Model S Plaid, made it all the way to the top spot according to the new time. Drive Tesla Canada noted that the new time record lines up almost exactly with Tesla's targeted time and speed, which has been on the website since the new variant was announced earlier this year, according to Tesla. The quarter mile time is 9.23 seconds at 155 miles an hour with a 250 km an hour trap speed. So, the Tesla Model S quarter mile time was much quicker than the time Lucid set in its air trimotor prototype last year. Although there was also a key difference. Lucid's time of 9.245 was achieved in a completely stripped down version of the air while the Model S Plaid had a full interior. And obviously we don't actually know if the trimotor air will go on sale yet in the anywhere near the same specification as the prototype car that they did that time in. However, I hope it does. That would be unreal if it did. For now, there's not any official footage of the race, unfortunately, so I can't show that to you. Uh, Drive Tesla Canada was asked to keep its sources identity private, so they're unable to share the footage of the run. But it's been verified that Drive Tesla has seen the footage. The article did note that the footage will be shown soon and that there weren't only Tesla employees at the track. Jay Leno was also there to film the testing session for his show, Jay Leno's Garage. So obviously, video of this, this event will be on Jay Leno's Garage, which is pretty cool. Also, Jay Leno got behind the wheel and he did a time of 9.5 seconds with the added weight of two passengers in the car during his run. So he did a time of 9.5 seconds, which would make it the second fastest car in the world, but he did it with three passengers or three people in the car. So that's probably adding an extra 160 to 170 kilos of weight and still doing it in a time of 9.5 seconds. That is insane. Guys, thank you for watching the video. I've really enjoyed bringing this news to you. Uh, it's so, we, we live in such exciting times right now with the incredible things that are happening in the electric car world. And the exciting thing is more and more of the electricity we use to power our cars every year moves to renewable energy. Isn't that cool? Guys, if you can subscribe to the channel or throw a like on the video, I would really appreciate that. I, if not, I really appreciate your support and thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.